Hiya, this is a video tutorial on this piece. It's called Parsons Farewell, and this is from the current Grade 1 ABRSM Piano Exam Pieces Syllabus Book 2021 to 2022. We're on page four, and this is piece A3. Um, it's a gorgeous little piece, um, and I'm going to play it through for you, hands together first, uh, to show you how it sounds, um, and then I'm going to break it down for you, hands separately and in small sections. Um, so whilst you're listening to me playing it, first of all, what I'd like you to do is just to follow the music along as best you can, left to right. Um, now I am gonna be doing the repeats um, because at the bottom of the page in bold, it does say in the exam, the repeat should be played. Um, normally you wouldn't do repeats in an exam, but they're making a specific point of this for this piece, so I am gonna do the repeats. Okay, so here we go. This is what it sounds like. So there we go. Um, so I'm going to show you the right hand first of all, um, and uh, then we'll break it down into small sections. So here we go. For the purposes of this video, um, I'm start. Uh, this is my middle C, and I'm going to be starting on this note up here, which is the second F above middle C. Um, so I'm going to have my fourth finger on that note, and your hand's going to stay in this position for the first bar and a half or so. So we've got F D D, then E F then G, C, C. So it's at this point you do your first hand position change. You need to switch to your index finger on that C. Then D, E, F, then E, D, then C sharp, two A's. Okay, next line, this is on to bar five now. So this is very similar to the start. So F, D, D, E, F, G, C, C. Now, this next C, the last C in bar six, there's no finger number written in, but what they want you to do is to put your second finger on it. So just before we carry on, um, you'll see that I've actually written in a number two just there. So if you can just take a moment to, with a pencil to write in a number two above that C there at the end of bar six, that will really help you. So we're gonna go straight in on that C, the last C of bar six with the index finger. Then D, E, F, then E, D, then C sharp and two A's. Now stretch up to that top A with your pinky. We're on to the third line now. So we've got two F's with the third finger, then up to A again, then two F's again, up to A again, and now F, G, A, and again F, G, A, then G, E, E. Okay, stay in this hand position. Um, we're on to the bottom line now, bar 13, E, F, G, and again, E, F, G, then F, D, then D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, E, D. Okay, now that's the first time bar, and then you finish the first time bar with an A with your pinky, and then you'll go back to bar nine for the repeat. The second time you play the repeat, you're going to miss out the first time bar and go straight to the second time bar. So let me just take a moment to explain that to you. So we know they're repeats because, can you see these two little dots here? and also over here, two little dots. So when you see these dots, um, they kind of bookend, if you like, a section of music that you're meant to repeat. So when I played it, I played it from here, bar nine, all the way through to there. Then what you would do is go back to bar nine and play all the way through this, play all this. And then when you get to this point, you're gonna miss out that bar because you've already done that and you would go straight to this bar here, bar two. So this is what we call the first time bar. This is what we call the second time bar. And you can see these brackets 
above the bars and they're numbered nice and clearly one and two and there's even an instruction here writ the second time so that means on the second time that you're playing it you're going to slow down towards the end so writ means slow down the italian there is ritardando or ritenuto you might have heard of those words before so when you play the end it's literally just that one d okay you don't go back up to a like you did there so that's the right hand i'm now going to show you the left hand Okay, so going from the beginning, we're starting on the D below middle C with a third finger. And then you go F, E, D, C. Now your thumb goes onto the E. Then in bar three, you're going to cross over with your third finger onto the F. Then onto the G with your index finger. Then onto the A with your thumb. And then play the A once more at the end of line one. On to line two then. So we're starting with the third finger again on the D. So this is very similar um, to the start of the piece. Then we go F, E, D, C. So that's all the same as the beginning, but this time you're gonna to shift to your thumb on the C. This is bar six. And now you've got a B flat at bar seven, then a G, fourth finger, then two A's in bar eight. Okay, now we're on to the third line, bar nine. So we start with a chord and that is C and F, played with one and five, and then you'll repeat it for bar 10. Okay, um, then you've got an F on its own, then A, F, then C with a thumb. Okay, on to the last line, bar 13, fourth finger now onto the C, and we go C, D, E, and again, then D on its own. And then what you do is you're going to switch to your fifth finger for the next D and then E, F, G, then two A's. Now the first time bar, you'll just play a D with your pinky. But the second time bar, you're going to actually play a chord. So together with that pinky note, that D, you're going to add F sharp and A to create that chord there. Okay, so as always, take this really slowly. There's no rush. Don't forget, you can pause the video. Uh, you can rewind it, fast forward it, adjust the playback speed. Don't forget to take it hand separately and in sections too until you feel fluent and com comfortable. Um, and then you can try it hands together. Looking forward to hearing how you get on. Good luck. See you soon.